Oh, how's your morning? This is how mine is starting off. I'm JB welding my boat right now because last time I went fishing, I don't know how it happened, honestly. I basically did what I always do. I uh, went to go put my boat on some sand so I could put it back on the trailer. I was by myself, so I didn't have anyone to help me out. And when I put it on the sand, I heard some crunching. I thought that was kind of weird. Then when I pushed the boat off, I realized my boat was lodged. What the hell was that? Then I realized that there was a sharp metal pole under the boat. So I'll show you guys a up close look here in a second, but we've got a monster gash. Look at that right there. Monster gash in the aluminum. Let me tell you, it takes a lot to put a hole in aluminum. And uh, yeah, so this is a, this is about as jank as it gets. Like JB welded your boat in a Walmart parking lot before you're about to freaking go fishing. Hopefully this works. I, I don't know. How long do I mix this for? Just keep uh, it's probably it's good. Probably right? good. <laughs> That's probably good. Screw it. This is so stupid. I'm going to get absolutely toasted in the comments for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. Looks good. Dude, this works. I'm going to lose I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> By the way, guys, the slow is for sale if you guys want to buy it. Um, I'm going to put it out in the out on the market here in a few few weeks. But uh yeah, looks what do you think, Boston? She's taped up nicely. She's taped up I nicely. I think it'll do. She's got a band-aid. All right. So there you have it. Welcome back to some more dustiness. My name is John B. I'm with my buddy <laughs> Weston today. He's been so kind to wait in the parking lot because I, I happen to sleep in. So this morning has just been full of crust and, and hopefully we can break that crust with some fish out in the lake. We're heading out east today. Fish off of a bass boat before? Not a bass boat, but a boat. Like no, for large like mouth? Maybe, maybe grandfather's pontoon back in the day. No. But not like a full on bass fishing mission though. Nope. This is exciting. A couple things. This will be the first time he's fishing off like a, a true fishing boat, if you want to call this thing a fishing boat. And then uh, he may break a personal best. Today we're going to a lake where I, I recently caught a five and have caught some big fish. I think honestly at this lake I hooked one of my biggest bass ever and I lost it. So we're going to get some redemption today. Uh, just JB ball to the boat. Got the tackle all ready to go. We will meet you guys on the water. Let's go get him. Don't go fishing. Don't go fishing toots. Nice. So we have successfully made it on the water. Thus far, I think that JBL is holding. I actually have no idea how this is gonna go down. I'm super sketch right now. It's a pretty big hole. Um, I mean, she's like probably that long. Diameter's probably about that big. Like it's good enough to, you know, fill your boat up with some water. All right, what do you think about today, man? You never fished here before? Nah. What's racing through your head? Other than that coffee, that double espresso. Oh, dude, the double espresso has me going. It's gonna be a good day. Honestly, I think we might hit my PB. We'll see what happens. That would be no sick. promises. No promises. But uh, guys, I've caught a four and a half, so I'm kind of like, uh, that, that, that's tiny out here in yep. Texas. We so. got a lot to work with today. Yeah, I was gonna try and uh, get me on something above five, see if we can't make it happen. That is the goal. And well, along with that, I like to catch a five pounder as well too. Hammer crank them, hammer crank them. You guys are doing good. <laughs> you guys need some more Keystone. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, well we're out in the water. <laughs> Here's my intro, I guess. I, listen, uh, today is just full of messes. I've been JB welding my boat. Uh, I, I slept in this morning and uh, it turns out I've been fishing for about an hour and a half and haven't recorded anything. I did catch a fish, but it doesn't count because it was on a camera. Um, so Wes and I are, are on the lake. It's apparent these fish are full bedding. Oh, don't do that, that's don't bad. That. <laughs> They're full bedding mode right now. Um, I've caught one accidentally on a bed. Uh, Weston is working a fish right in front of me. You guys can probably see him. If you can't, just put on your polarized glass at home and just give him a little peep. But it's about a one pounder. There's some big fish bedding right now. The biggest I think we've seen on a bed is maybe, oh, that's happening, dude. Yep. That's happening. You know, we're just gonna try to do our best. It's a very busy day. There's probably, what, 60 boats out here on this tiny little lake. Today's gonna be a fun day, not taking too seriously. Just out here soaking up some rays. AKA getting burnt. All right guys, well, we're getting after it. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Yeah, this one's gonna happen. I got a glide bait tied on right now, and we're also going to be throwing some bandito bugs, wacky worms, you know how we do. Same old stuff, different day, different fish. Hopefully some biggins. There's a fish under that dock. Just, oh, yes, oh! <laughs> that was so cool, two of them followed it in. I brought it away to their, of their face too quick. That was so dumb. I, I heard one busting on the dock and I was about to pick up the, the bandito bug and there was two falling it in. He ate it too, like he had it in his mouth. That was just some textbook John B type shit right there. Son of a wiener. All right, we got a bed fish here, guys. This might happen. It's a pretty good one too. Be a nice day starter since I didn't film my first fish. Right, she didn't like that, she's on it. Oh, she just picked it up and dropped it. Yeah, the jig is the ticket. So this is a little, this is a little trick that Rackley just taught me. Take a black and blue jig and take the all-natural bandito bug and put it on there. I swear to God, Rackley, if this works, like my first few flips, I owe you a quartz light. Here we go. I'm going to put it on there. It's an interesting combo. Two unlikely duos happen to have caught Rackley's biggest fish of the year. And I'm going to see if I can. it's going to catch Flair's biggest fish of the year, which is about three pounds. <laughs> Let's see if she reacts to this. 
Hey, Mr. Bass, will you eat my jig so we can go get you a 10 pounder, please? There we go, got her, got her. That's a pretty good one, dude. Oh no, I snagged her, son of a bitch. I thought that was fighting a little weird. The, the old Chris Beulah. She turned on it and I thought she had it. This is a part of bed fishing, it happens. I'm not afraid to admit that I make mistakes, that sucks. Well, Rackley, it worked, but it didn't work in the right way. I'll resume when you get it on the I'll just, no, you can put it away. Okay, well, not fair play, so we're just gonna put it right back on the bed. Sorry about that. She turned on, I thought she had it. Oh. Yeah, this video is brought to you in part by JB Weld, but you might, you might wanna put some JB Weld in your scales there after that one. That sucks. I'm telling you, it's not fair if you just let me keep casting. Oh, I got a bow, I can do this whenever I want. This is all you, man. This could be your biggest ever, too. If I catch a five pounder, it's awesome, but it's not like, it doesn't mean the same thing it would mean to you. Real, 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 real. Real, 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 <laughs> real. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> nice fish, brother. Okay, um, oh my God. hold your fish right here. We're gonna get second, a weight on it. Second time's a What's charm. your personal best? He's East Texas bass, don't mess around. Oh, we're zeroed out, blokes. Okay. That's your oh, f***ing yeah, TV, yeah, bro! Yeah. I knew it was either, right at five. I was like, dude, it might be five. Oh, five one. Flat, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, First dude. First time fishing off a bass boat. Is this a bass boat? <laughs> ah, it's a boat. Let's First just call it that. First time fishing off the slow with John B, and we reel in a five. Hold oh, that puppy Lord, up. Would you believe it? Nicely done, bro. You did it. She's tall too. Let's um get some pictures. Okay. So I think the deeper we go, like in the water, the bigger bass is gonna be. So you saw how big that fish was. Yes. Look at this guy. We'll take turns on him too. That's the only way you can get these guys if you take turns. Oh, you ready? We're about to break your PB again, dude. Everything's good. Your drag's fing set. You're prepared because this fish is going to fight twice as hard. Yeah. Once they get past seven pounds, dude, it's a whole other fish. I see. Yeah, she's just chipping up. That's a big one, bro. She's locked too. Okay, so this just in. Weston just broke his personal best. You guys will have to watch the whole process on his channel, but it was really sick. It's cool to watch someone catch their biggest bass ever. Like, I feel like I caught my biggest bass just then. But get this a few beds down. We're looking for some deep beds. And lo and behold, what do we see? How big is that, you think? It's gotta be at least seven. At least seven pounders. So we're back on the bed scene. This is a ginormous fish. The male is about as big as the, as the female that Weston just caught. Oh my God, she's going, she's doing big fat circles. We're gonna see if we can get this guy though. Like I said, not a huge bed fisherman, but if they're big and they're voluptuous, I'm gonna take the time to give them the old one, two, one, two with the bandito. She's looking at the jig. Yeah, what do you think, man? She's got it. Oh, the, the male has it. The male has it. Not the, it's all good, so okay. it's just the male. Oh, that's, oh. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're good, we're good. Here's what we're gonna do. <sighs> yep. Wow, so that's the male, folks. Pretty good female, if that's the male. It's probably about a two and a half pounder. Okay, gonna put Jimmy in the jacuzzi real quick so we have a better chance of catching the female. I thought that was the female. I was like, holy smokes, here we go. Yeah. But just the male. Just the male, meanwhile, that's an awesome fish. Like, I'm, I'm not complaining, it's just like, when you've got a, this, she's pissed off now. She's still on her bed. Have you heard that tactic before? You, you take the male sometimes? Yeah, yeah, take the male, take it off the bed, then she comes in is what right. I hear, but she was already on it, so it's like, is there a toss up there? Oh, uh, well, she just gets more active then. Theoretically, like I said, every fish is different. That male's not very happy oh, at us. Wow. She ate it. Dude, she ate it. I hit her on the back and she fucking ate it. Sorry the, for the profanity there. I just had a, about a seven pounder come up and eat my jig. I accidentally bumped her in the back and she's like, I think I'll eat that. Sure enough, I had the bite and missed the hook set. I was tentative to set the hook though because I didn't know she was kicking it, but I saw her mouth like open. And that was, you know, yeah, yeah. Put that mail back. Back you go, scurrying onto your bed, bud. Let's see what happens. There he goes, he's right there. It's crazy how these fish find their beds. Something's gotta get her to tech here. I know, right? I saw him come back and then he just disappeared. Oh, 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 she's going after it. No. Yes. She went after that. She's still chasing it, she's still chasing it. She's right under it, she's right under it. Oh my, oh my God. God. Dude, she followed it all the way to the boat. <laughs> That's new. That is new. She ate it, she ate it. Oh. Oh. She's, still, she's still gonna come at it, she's still coming at it. She ate it, I was not paying attention. Oh. What do you mean not paying attention? What were you looking at? I don't know. I just was like, I, I don't know. I didn't see her. I just thought I lost her. Oh, this is the closest we have been, guys. This she opened up hardcore for that swim bait. I gotta watch my. Here she comes. Oh, I feel like she's getting smart at it again. She's like not. It's a pretty good fish, man. I say we come back to this guy. Let's come back to it. Just remember where it's at. I don't think anyone's gonna. Right. Well, guys, we're banning that seven pounder. We caught the male, but that seven was just super, super stingy. And we had some breeze rolling. So. 
We're going to return to that spot later on. Maybe she gets a little bit more, um, you know, comfortable. Uh, again, I don't know if it's seven. It could be six. It could be bigger. Yeah, like it was so funny. I had the, I had that strong reaction on the swim bait. Like she literally opened up and nipped at it. But then after that, it was like, you know, she was just pretty done with us. So um, yeah, a little discouraging, but at least we know she's there and we can always return. I'm just going to do some blind casting with this big old depths depths glide bait and see if we can pick some off the bed that we don't even see. Ideally, that's the goal is just kind of find them before they see us and before we find them. Oh, there's got bit. He's got it. <laughs> that was a fish. Oh, he's still on. No way. <laughs> uh, dude, the whole fish, when I saw the whole fish eat, I thought that was just the face of the fish. That's why I set the hook so damn hard. Well, guys, I'm on a nice roll here. I went all the way to East Texas to catch this guy. Like I said, today's uh, today's video is br <laughs> brought to you in part by JB oh, Weld. Oh, such a sick day fishing so far, folks. <laughs> all right, well, we're back on our scene. We found some buds. Just gonna try to build some momentum here. I have not had the best day ever, but we are seeing some fish. That seven pounder is still haunting me. I wanna catch that guy so badly. I'm working a little one pounder right now. He just picked up the jig and dropped it. Why did you drop it there, Ricky? That could have been all yours. This is gonna be fun. Just a nice little one pounder to get the blood flowing. She is just terrorizing this jig. She does not like this jig. It's probably he though, it looks like a little male. There we go. This might be it. Wow, we needed some fish in the boat. It's been really <laughs> slow. Shout out to Rackley. I'm using his duo right now. Throwing that off color jig, that black and blue with a little bit of, what is this? This is watermelon red flake. Doesn't seem like it makes sense, but it gets these, these spawning bass going. Not too shabby, pretty fish. Just a quick look so you guys have an idea of what's down there. And then we're gonna put her right back on the bed. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's her bed. Probably him actually, it's a he. I think it's got a wiener. All right, wiener bass, see you later. Cool. There's a pretty good one. Oh wow, that's not bad, that's not a bad fish. Tough to tell. Got her. Nice one. Not bad. Wow, hammered it. Just hammered it. We've just we've we just realized the fact that we are not pros out here and we're just dabbling with these little little males. It's fun though, man. Like this is what spring's all about. It's about going up shallow, find a few bed bass, maybe stumbling upon a, a, a giant fish. This year I think like my biggest bed bass is like five pounds. It's not it's not something I've been doing a whole lot of this year, but but when we do pull up on them, they're, they're always fun to catch. That's like Probably about a, a pounder. Okay, just for fun, I'm gonna catch the male and the female. Male's in the box. Female's about to get doinked. Oh, that was sloppy. That was sick. Got the male and the female. <laughs> that was two textbook. Very dope. Very dope. And there's the female. Not much bigger than the male. Usually the female is much larger, but in this case, they're just about the same size. Okay, so I literally, Caught this guy, which is the male, put him in the live well, turned the area on. Next cast, I caught the female. This is the male and the female. You can tell the female's a little bit bigger, more fat. Nice, these guys just moved up. They barely made their buds. Otherwise I wouldn't do this. But uh, yeah, as you can see, she's about to lay some eggs and make some babies. <laughs> male and female, we're gonna get underwater release and put them back. I don't know if the big camera picked that up, but I went and released those males and females, and then another one off another bed came up and pecked the, the female. It's uh, it's full spawn out here, and in, in a, I think a few short days, the full moon's gonna come, so this will just be like a bed battlefield. It's gonna be crazy, but we're just having fun out here. This is this is definitely enjoyable catching some fish. Not bad ones, too. Out here, is, it's, it's known for giants. I'm not gonna get super hyped, but at the very least, we're getting bit. That's what I call getting lost within the sauce. We took it all the way back. You know what? I'm happy with our performance today. But if we caught bigger and more fish, always. You can always catch bigger and more fish. Yeah, man, I just, I seem to fish really weird when I don't have an ending in my system. I keep doing this to myself. I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, probably not because I edit my videos and I chop up parts that don't matter. When I go out and fish, like I am focused on fishing. Like I don't answer my phone. I don't do anything else. I don't bring my Game Boy Color on the on the boat. I, I strictly am out here to fish and try to catch a big one because, you know, I know 12 pounders live in this lake. Like at any point in time, I could catch a, you know, the biggest bass of my life. Okay, yeah. And my GoPro also sucks. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at is when I go in the water, I primarily focus on fishing and I forget to pack food, water, like the essentials. Today I've had a bottled water and nothing to eat, nothing. Not much more 
And at right around like I think, what was that? Maybe 3 p.m. I really started to feel it. And yeah, Weston too. He's had like maybe a oh, cracker. Yeah, he, had, he, had a he had a half of a dry saltine and, and like some, some water. So we are I splitting out of us, here. Dude. We're about to eat good. Yeah, we're about to eat good. But yeah, we really, I wish I would have caught that like seven, eight pounder. I mean, I don't even know how big it is. I keep calling it a seven pounder. It could be bigger or smaller but we gave it our all. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is the reason why I didn't talk much from like 12 to now is because I was so focused on fishing. I like my mouth is just cotton. My stomach has cobwebs in it. So good day, man. Put it there. Yeah, dude, fantastic. Bang, That's bang. PB, he got his PB. I caught my, what's your SB, smallest. Yeah, smallest bass. I caught I my SB. Caught that today too. I caught, yeah, <laughs> we both caught our SBs and he got his PB. So we're heading off the water. See you back at the crib. Is that a cold star? Is that why it's so loud? It tones down. Yeah. Holy moly. Yep. Look at those things. Those are some big old exhaust tips. Can you even see those exhaust tips? Look at how big, those big ass exhaust tips. Anyway. Okay, so <laughs> we are back at the Walmart parking lot. This is where we started today's video doing the whole JB Weld thing. Actually, mega surprised. I literally just turned the bilge to see if we took on any extra water uh, from that drive and Nothing. It actually freaking worked. So huge shout out to this legend for getting the uh, the JB Weld West. And yeah, it was a good day of fishing. We caught some very nice fish. I, I'm sorry if I acted like a Debbie Downer today. I just know that we could catch big fish, which we did, but we missed some good opportunities. I should say I missed some good opportunities to catch some giants. But we made it happen at the very least. Huge shout out to Lucky for being the moral support. Do you want to take my dog home? Gino, Do you want a man. third one? Oh, you you a said fourth. Fourth. A fourth. West has four dogs. Three dogs. This would be the fourth. Dude, how do you do that? <laughs> I have one dog and it's way too much for me. We had fun, right, Scootsies? Okay, I know, you want some kibble, let's go home. All right, peace, bro. Yeah, I'll see you around, man. Peace. Have a good night. Thanks. You wanna go home and eat some kibble? Want some kibble? Do you want some kibble?